friends welcome to helping testers so in this session we will be talking about some millennials topics and the first one will be talking about the transaction controllers okay so to learn it let's do uh, let's record a script uh, let me add it into a workbench test script recorder and i will record through chrome let me go to the settings proxy to the lens settings and use proxy server and here also i will mention the port that is 80 right and in this thread group let me first add a simple controller and i will name this as passport home okay and where i want to save the result i want to save in passport home right so let me change the proxy okay and let me start this so i've started the proxy so whatever activity which i am doing on chrome would be recorded in the just jmeter passport home so first of all let me just stop and let me uh, get the website okay so this is the website right so let me start and hit this website Let's speed it slow, it's just taking time. Okay, so it has opened. Proxy is not recorded. The reason is I have not unchecked the proxy. Uh, just a second proxy this one go to the lens settings i want to uncheck this also right in order for jmeter to listen now let me start listening and hit this url again okay now it is listening so it has done let me save it so you can see two apis are headed now let me i will click on this visa services so I will add a new simple controller, uh, config element, uh, controller, right, simple controller and I will name it as, yes, visa services, right and I want to save this under visa services. Let me start. Now I'm listening to this browser and click on this visa services. You can see this is open and in visa services these are applications are open. Right. Let me stop this. Another API I want to hit is RTI. Let's say. So I will make a new simple controller and I will name this as RTI and i will ask the jmeter now to record under this thread group rti section and i will start the jmeter listening and i will click on this rti okay so the request has been saved under this right so this is my script i will also go to my videos and add a new section here and I will name it as miscellaneous topics and I will save this test plan as change videos 
miscellaneous topics and I will name it as transactional right so I will name it as transaction controllers I will add a view result tree here. I want to see that. So these are my three APIs. I have hit it the passport home, visa services, and RTI. And under this visa services, there were so many requests and home also request and this. So I want to run this now. I will save this and I will run this. Yes, sir. The API have passed, but you can see here under the passport two APIs were there under the visa services these much apis were there and under the rti these two apis were there it is not uh, you can say hierarchy is not maintained i cannot judge from the report that which is the passport home api which is the visa services api it is really hard for me to understand we have ca categorized on the basis of simple controller but simple control is just collecting it in view result tree Having simple controller does not making any difference. So it is a very tedious. Now in my result, I want to show that it should show me like this: passport, home, visa, services, and rest RTI. So it the API should be clubbed together as per my need. So how I can do for that? I can use this transaction controller. So my first transaction com let's say passport home and I will copy this whole API's just a second so I will copy these both API's under the passport home to the transactional controller similarly I will make a transaction controller for visa services i will add a transaction controller with the name of visa services and i will copy all these api to my visa services similarly rti i will make a transactional column so transactional column is also a type of simple controller but the difference it it helps to categorize our results so that they are viewable as per our need and i will copy both of these api in my rti let me disable all three simple controllers and let me run this now let me clear the old result and let me run this currently it is working just like a simple controller but if you go to this transaction controller it is giving us an option that do you want to generate a parent symbol you need to click on this yes that a parent child hierarchy should be maintained and if i clear the old result and run it now you will see the APIs are clubbed as per I needs. If I click on passport home, two APIs are there. Similarly, as we have maintained the request. And similarly for the visa services and RTI. So now you can see that the API's result is complete viewable. So you when you are generating a script and you are validating the reports and listeners this is a common situation and the students are coming back that they are not viewable correctly the results are so for that cases we can use transactional controllers okay during the uh, jmeter scripts running you find some errors uh, and you need to rerun your script and you identify whether the script is wrong or the result you are getting is wrong sometimes you want to check what the parameters you have given what their values are in overall that you want to debug your jmeter scripts 
So how you can achieve this? So let me add a thread group and inside that thread group let me add a sampler let's say Java request and uh, in this test plan let me add a variable name as where and let me give it a value of 5 okay now when this is java request is there i want to check what its value just a simple case so how i can do that so we have a sampler known as debug sampler so this debug sampler is used to debug your scripts so what you get here is jmeter properties you can get jmeter variables as well as system properties so let's for now just keep only jmeter variable as true and run our script so when we use a listener let's use view result tree and save this my a file that i will name it as debug sampler and run this so in the result you will get a debug sampler here when you click on this you will find jmeter variables so these are all the jmeter variables so this is our variable which we have defined where 5 and these are the default variables of let's say time start time and time my test plane name if i say this jmeter to record jmeter properties i make it true I will clear the result and I run this now you won't find it you when you click on this you find here jmeter properties all the jmeter properties so if you go to your jmeter to your bin file so you will find a properties file here jmeter properties file this is the jmeter properties file when you open this so the same data you will be finding here in the jmeter properties file when you go here so these all data the variable names if let's say I get report generator so you might be having this report generator here you can see report generator threshold value 500 so all these variable properties you can fetch it from here you can find it what they are similarly you can get system properties i will make it as false clear the result and run this so you can get the system properties what are the configurations what are the default paths so where is the java installed and all those stuff you can find this so during the course of your test script execution you want you want to know what is the jmeter property what is the variable you are using during the execution what its current value what are the system properties you can use this debug sampler and you can debug your scripts